G'day and welcome back to this more Tactics and Glory up against its Ip a switch here. Uh, what are we doing in this one? We're running uh, round. Okay, and what's the contract sending? It's Luke's. Yeah, we need 870k. Can't remember what our. You can actually check what your sponsors are anyway. Club photos on the logo. Um, club history. You know, we are kind of still heading up. This was a real dry patch. I guess that's after we um, sell our best people when we get to a new lead. So probably bottom out there for a bit as well. Additional info. Yeah, it's a while since we got a trophy. All right, let's run this match. How would you like to play? Wish the sound worked properly on this reliably. Um, Pence wants to pass to Luke. All right, we've got an interceptor in the defensive mid position. Uh, Luke's going to walk up. Hopefully, no, his keeper's got good defense. He's got good control as well, so even if we went for crosses for headers. Uh, let's go power shot. Nice. That was a 9 out of 120. Sometimes you do get lucky, especially since Luke always rolls low like that. All right, Godinez is going to try and pass over to Kerry. Courtney, not fantastic controller. Good defense, though. Um, so let's pull Courtney out. He's in there to try and train up as a replacement sweeper for Lancaster when he gets too old. Uh, one, two, three. All right, can't reach Lombardi. Can reach Pence. Somehow has a cannon shot. If he came down here, he could have a crack at it. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a sweeper either. Good to know. The two moves. We want it to get to Lombardy. Fair enough. Then we want Coit to hold on to it. 97 control now. He's going to have a sweeper somewhere. Oh, he's got a keeper, Tally. Isn't Tally the one that we sold? He is. 84 defense now. Well done, Tally. Keep training up these opposition defensemen. Mm, 24 control was 14. Guess we could bring Hoyt down. 22 versus not much. Alright, bring Lombardy here. He should get a free press. Then we get Hoyt back. If he can steal this, then he should be okay to defend it. Well, not against Tally. Because he does that, so we're down to 82. 82 versus 84, that's a 50-50 and he's lost it the second time. And... He won't get a free from there. And he's moving away. 44 versus 126. We need him to get it back. I should have done it from there. Alright, aggressive. <coughs> Fails. <laughs> oh, red carded Hoyt. Come on. Alright, um, we're not going to be getting any headers then. I think probably want to throw Welch in instead of Youngen. We're on 29, he's got better defense. Main thing though is that we're going to want him to rainbow through while he's fresh. Alright, Compton. Can move forward and then rainbow into a goal. And he fails it. That's what we like to see. Got a double rainbow. And then Clayton can do long balls. So we go to Welch, then to Luke. Hopefully, yep. Hopefully get past him. Well, Welch is getting blocked down. And then he'd get attacked by him anyway. <clears throat> we can move and shoot. It's going to be our best chance because that loft would be blocked. So I think we move Welch up. He does a power shot and hopes for a corner. There we go. Alright, then we have Lombardy. Crosses are an issue now, though. So I guess we'll pass to Luke here. Throw Welch there. It's a chance of a header. He does have one header skill. He should be able to control this. Um, I really need to do that pass. 77. That's 84 you're talking about. His defense. We'll push him back and he'll probably still block it. 
But if we try to do the cross, it's a 50 50. Alright, it's probably still better. Get them out of the way. Nice. Is that 44 to 43? Suck that dip switch. 2 0 up. With a red carded, well, not main striker, but I actually should look at the number of goals they've got in this season. I think they'll be pretty close. Nice block again. Half time save. 43% of possession. One foul from one tackle. Alright, what do we got? Rock. Ball way over to Godinez. Godinez uses up another slot. He can't cross a header from there. Takes a shot, gets intercepted by Keiki. That's too far to Lombardy. Could give it to Pence, could give it to Steen. Let's go for a Lombardy lob. Oh, that's not good. Alasson, we have to get it off him. And we're looking at Clayton getting it. Hmm. Alright, try a loft. Yeah, so I'm going to go wide. And we're in terrible positions here. At least Courtney's blocking. Well, that's good for us. Godinez comes back. Means we can get Keith in front. We have to worry about the sweeper if he has a cannon shot, which he doesn't. A regular tackle. 2-1 to one odds on favourite for that tackle to work. Get it around to Welch. Or better yet. Well, it's a 50-50. We got it. Alright, Lombardy. Can't pass that far. He can pass to Welch. Um, he should get layoff pass going forward. He can get that through. And then he'll maybe get fouled. Damn. Alright, nice interception by Pence. Compton, no. Franz. It's 48 versus 23. He should get it. And then we've got two centimeters right here. So press with one. Then it makes it free for Steen to steal. And then we can pass to Lombardy. And then we can get him into the penalty area. If he gets the roll right. Nine. No. Yeah, right, happens. All right, Bob. Rock. Rock gonna pass through over to Alisson. Got the rainbow. Be crazy not to use it here. Yeah, there he goes. Got one. Rainbow's the goalie for a goal. Alright, two one. Do have to worry about him getting an equalizer. Now oh, crap, that means Hoyt's out for the cup as well. Um Pence to Luke. Should get past the interception. Luke comes wide. This one's unlikely to go in. So we got the power shot. Still should get past him. Just have to hope for the corner. And miss it. Alright. Rook runs back into defence. Comes out to get it. We can do a cannon from there. And we pulled Young and off. Defence here is terrible. Alright, let's just get Welch. With the low probability. Oof. Jesus. Alright. Can't do the rainbow faint. Unfortunately, he's got uh, interception. Precision is not likely. Dribbling because 129. Alright, Welch for the corner. Oh, he just, just score instead. Nice one, buddy. How's that for a substitution? 3 1 up at full time. Luke, Luke, Welch. Nice. So three matches without him. Hopefully two of those will be league. Plus three defence for Courtney. Luke cranking along there. Alright. Tom Price drew Mount Isa. Mount, Mount Isa are down the bottom, I think. Alright, on the tables. Mount Isa are down the bottom. And we're only behind on goal difference at the moment. 
And we're one win away from being goal difference down on Latrobe. So it's looking okay. Next up, yes, you're telling us about the red card. Wait. Quarterfinals against Mika. So take Hoyt out. Unless we get 11 players back on. We can just put in Welch for the rainbow. Dickinson's got one level of throwing. So it's two, three, and four. Okay. So normally one, then two, three, four. Um, <clears throat> I like the idea of him being able to throw from here to like well, two, so he don't be able to throw next to the box. I think we're Welch in. He's done well in the last game. Now, we're going to be 96, 60. Oh, terrible defense on his sweeper and his keeper. So we want to get Luke going through Holloway. We can pass up there. Keep Young and over that side. And then we'll try and go straight through if he manages to pull one. And we're going to have to remember to do this in time. 870. Should be able to get the cash by then, I think. Um, this is an away game, though. Does it tell us on the calendar? It does. So we'll get two home games. That's 21 days ago. 21 days away. What was the length on his contract? 22. All right, so we'll have two home games before then. Should be able to make enough in ticket sales. Holy crap. Okay, so, uh, yeah, make it there. Yep, and specialization of uh, what's his name? Courtney. 205 out of 360. Should be alright. Let's give this a play. Alright, me. Two failed interceptions. So this guy's going to get pulled out of their spots. Escaville. He's not crossing to anyone. He's going to do a break. Right, unsuccessful break. He has 12 defense. We have 53 control. He's going to be able to get it back off. And that's too far. No, Lancaster's got long bombs. Triple long passes. <clears throat> Get it of Lombardy. He wants to run up this way because his defense is lower than his. Layoff pass success with the triple long pass. Then he can't do it because he was involved in that. So Luke with the go with the power shot. Nice. All right, Mika Thari used to be a little scary with your heading forwards. Only got one of them left. Old left forward peoples. What are you trying? You're trying a direct line on the goal. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, Keith, slightly too far away. This is a little annoying. Wish he could pass four. He will try the lofted pass. It's worse than it would have been otherwise. Guess we can get a freebie for Young going out there. It's going to get tired pretty quickly though. Um, his shot on goal is highly unlikely. Um, he can do a cross from here. Well, more likely than getting the um, corner, I think. Alright, Poo grabs the ball. Runs up the field. Has a quick look around. Sees ten teammates and then stands on the ball. Who's not interested, and Lombardy's going to move up. Get some defenders back into position. Alright, Who looks down the field at Peoples. Passes instead to Scruggs. Scruggs sees Esquivel way over the other side and kicks the ball straight out. Sheffer with a short ball to Lancaster. Lancaster does not score an own goal. Instead, he long passes to Lombardy. Who can't get anyone in position. So he throws Luke into danger and hopes for a penalty. But he can't even hold on. Alright. Went to the right wing, Merrill. Now it does a layoff pass to Esquivel. Esquivel looks at the goal, takes a shot, and he's blocked by Schaffer. Courtney wants to use his head, uses his foot instead, and fails to get it to Lombardy. Well, Lombardy looks forward, sees it looks out of range, so he moves forward to get the ball. He then gets an extra turn by failing to get it through. Unfortunate. Would have been an easy goal for Luke. 
Hone on the penalty spot with the goalie. Kick back to Scruggs on the left mid. Long pass to Esquivel. Goes wide. Esquivel sees it and ignores it. Merrill comes up instead. And it's a half time whistle. Lucky for Mikathara, they didn't get scored on a couple of extra times. Centre mid Lombardi. Best player, thanks to his fantastic through balls. Alright. Pence goes a big pass to Luke. Luke stares into the eyes of Holloway and then runs over his toes. But gives up the ball in the process. So Welch presses on Holloway. Holloway sees Esquivel. Passes a little too close to the inside. Keith's staring at the ball, wondering who wants to come and get it. Esquivel walks in. Keith's not happy. So Esquivel runs away. Meanwhile, Luke takes his chance to run into the penalty area again. And Esquivel didn't notice Pence right behind him. He's not too surprised when he sees Keith follow him up. With an easy tackle, touches his shoulder, grabs his bum, and grabs the ball. Simple pass through to whoever has the highest control that he can reach. Which is looking like it would be Steen. But we do want Lombardy to start with it next time if possible. Alright. Throwing in the kitchen sink. Holloway's come up for an easy grab off Lombardi, who's now out of position. Good thing we have Steen, Keith, and Pence forward. Holloway runs away. 64 control from Holloway. Can't be beaten. So we get a press. And then Lombardy does a really long shot attempt. 14 versus 24, he fails it. But Pence comes to stand in the way of a pass to Peoples. Holloway looks around the pitch. He's going to pass to Esquivel. And he's thrown it into Keith's old position. And Esquivel might want to get that. Goes to pick it up. Doesn't realise Lancaster was waiting for that exact thing to happen. So was Clayton. <laughs> he managed to pick up the ball eventually. And he attempts a long pass to Lombardy. Goes straight to a man. Another press from Kitchen. Holloway takes it easily again. Holloway has got two moves left to think about. Sends one out to Peoples. Peoples or Scruggs will pick it up. Scruggs runs down. Courtney likes the look of it. Goes for an easy tackle. Pulls it off of left mid Scruggs. And then it goes for a bomb. Way over to Youngin. Just to throw their people off a little. Make kitchen move. Oh, yeah, Mac Merrill comes in off the right wing. Grabs the ball, turns, runs out to his wing. Last shot of the game. Can they tie it up? Oh, he's been blocked by Clayton. And an awesome win for Port Hedland over Mikadara. With a sixth minute goal by centre forward Luke. Top scorer of the league. Or of the cup. Top scorer of the league. And Welsh learns some accuracy as Clayton learns a little bit of everything. Forty-six new fans. Got a nice bonus going there now. Okay, so a draw doesn't drop your new fan bonus. It's only a loss that resets it. Next match, move over to La Trobe. Ranked one with quite a few losses, so we've just got loss for a win. So if we get this, we should be up near the top. Manager and Esperance will probably win theirs. Right, let's have a quick peek at footballers Hoyt. Getting a few goals behind there now. Assists Lombardy way up there. Youngin's trying to get assists as well. Lancaster with the tackles. And these guys. Say he's nearly the first person. Just Ratliff. Well, he's equal. So yeah, first person without uh, interception skill. And Shaffer with the saves. It's lucky. You don't want to see your keeper on there because it means the ball's getting past too many people. Now Latrobe FC. They did beat us last time. Uh, what are we waiting for? 870. I need another 50 grand. It's going to be rough. Although we could sell like Hudson. De 
Magic is in there. Far enough. And then Hoyt's is coming up. Hmm. See how well we do without Hoyt. It's a bit of a hassle if we do have to sell him. Four million will take care of contracts for the next couple of years, though. And if we sell him in this league and then move on to the next one, we won't have to play against him. All right, so Latrobe, center, center, right defender on the left, middle bit. Oh, these were the guys that had three right defenders before. Yeah, the other one's down there. Medrano is out for two matches. So yeah, Luke definitely wants to skip around. Should be able to get it past the keeper. So pass through from there, should be good. He's got an attacking mid over this side, so that'll be a little annoying. We'll give it a go. So Victoria versus WA. Bowman. Right forward. Can't use his cannon. Got one guy who wants to do headers. Alright, Clayton can't pass where we need it. We can do long pass. Alright, it's Clayton and Lankas, both in the middle. It's the uh, sides that can't. So, that's a little unfortunate, but we'll give it a go. He makes it. And Lombardy can push Luke out where he needs to be. We've still got two shots, so well, might as well just go for it. Do a power shot as long as it gets past him, which it does not. Let's get Welch. Attempting a tackle, well, he manages it. He only has 38 control. And keeps it. So he gets the bonus. Universal forwards get, was it 30% during opponent's turns? Alright, pass off to Peoples. 40 control, we can't really deal with. Just stop him running any further. I guess we could pull Pence back. Try and get an intercept with like 18 defense, 14 defense from him. That was that interception. Mott. Can't get past. Got Courtney back into his proper position. He's still trying to learn sweeping. All right, Courtney will attempt to pass to Lombardy. Two, three. Would have been good to get there. All right, quick move out. And then he could go there. 77 versus 50 sounds perfectly reasonable. Although, I always forget he doesn't, no, he doesn't get to do it. Thanks for our penalty. We're going straight down the middle. Alright, Latrobe. The keeper needs the experience. We're just giving him some training. Borman. Right, they do have a one header on the far side. Shouldn't be able to get it over there. Nice defense from Courtney. Because he's got double header. Excellent. I should never be able to manage that then. So, Courtney comes up. He's going to attempt to lob to Lombardy. Fails, unfortunately intercepted. Uh, we do have Lombardy with a free press. And then Steen can attempt it. Not the best attempt. Peoples to Bushby. Busby. Busby. Get the failed intercept. Mott is over there. This should be a goal with a triple cannon. Oh, he's failed it. Best he could roll with a one against the three. So he comes out and grabs. He can do a forward pass. Might be intercepted by Purvis. No, it's not. All right, long ball to Lombardy. It's getting a bit tired. Lombardy lays off to Luke. It is his only shot left. So goes for a power shot into the goal. Gets it through one, grabs a corner. All right, Lombardy, catch your breath in the corner over there. I'm going to go with Luke to start with. We'll throw Young in the other side. Try and distract some of their players. 27 versus 47. 21 versus 39. He'll get thrown out. Definitely. At least I've only got one going on him. So the cross here, we've got 50 versus 63. His control is pretty good. Um, otherwise, a pass to him would definitely work. He'll get pushed back. Let's go with that. <coughs> Never do these normal sorts of shots. Short pass to Luke. Luke turns. Goes for the power. Straight past his hands. 2 1 up at half time. Which means we get the kickoff instead of them. Penalty kick and a power shot. Centimid Peoples. There's this guy. He's their MVP at the moment. Alright. Short pass to Luke. Luke moves out to the wing. 
Gonna be some extra defense from the Snyder on this one. So if we go for the power shot, it's unlikely to get past. We'll instead go for precision. And he scores the goal. Three different types of goal. Nice hat trick in the 49th minute from Luke. Alright, people's eyes up Bauman. Bauman should move forward. Oh, he's going to try the cross to Mott. There's the attempt. He's just kicked it out. What was he thinking? Alright, short pass to Lancaster. Lancaster likes to look a Lombardy. He's got a triple at eight. Oh, he's failed it. Three to an eight. Not good. But Purvis is not allowed to keep it. I will let Purvis keep it this time. Purvis short pass to Mott. Mott will attempt to get past. Not a good choice there. 63 control versus 84 defense. 66 control. Well, 28 control versus 42 defense. So that did make sense. And then we've got our old buddy here. Steps back. Tackle from behind. He's fouled him. He would like to say sorry by jumping into the spot and building a wall. Youngin comes back to help. Then we have Steen because he's a defensive midfielder. Thinks he should defend. Keith's thinking about it. And he steps in as well. Should be a short pass to Mott for his cannon. Nothing that can be done about that. Instead, that is break up the defence. Peoples can cannon instead. He's got a triple and he's made it. Congratulations to Peoples out on the wing with the 87.5% success chance that he went for. Meanwhile, back in the other half, Pence passes to Luke. Luke moves out to the wing. Turns on the goal, goes for a precision strike, and it's caught by Olivas. Olivas thinks about a throw long. And gets it to Vest. Vest will run up the wing. No, he'll go for a long pass. Straight into the centre at Purvis. Purvis runs a little, tries to get a better angle. Sees it and scores. Ridiculous that that went in. 86 accuracy against 100 defence and 146 defence. But nobody's salty about that. As Luke gets the ball again. Runs to his favourite position on the field. Turns around and scores a counter goal. They wanted to get their goal difference up here. Steen with another failed interception. Borman looks. Thinks that he can get a cross header to Mott this time. It was a good try, but Courtney intercepted it with his heading skill and handed it off to Clayton, who can do a long bomb up to Lombardy. It's only half a chance, but it's better than any other pass that he can do. He's fouled it and given it straight off to Purvis. Goes for the aggressive tackle to get it back. Last ball of the game. He hands up long to Young, because he's feeling left out. Right, full time, we have Port Hedland 4 versus Latrobe 2. With a double hat-trick to Luke. Well, everyone's hoping that Welch can pick up some extra points here, but he does not. Thousand for Luke. Alright, they're coming along. Nearly 10 grand, we need a lot more than that. Need the ticket sales. Second league bonus, uh, what do we have? 211, I think they might be near what we need. Alright, 28, 24. Decent new fan base. Next match is against Esperance. There's going to be lots of rain today, making the ball rather slippery. So let's have a quick peek at the upgrade. We need 210, so we've just got enough. Sign up the best defensive coach available, and we'll have to think about what we want next time. I'm not using these at all. Probably do want, well, it's still just a personal transfer list. I mean, making them younger would be good, but we'd have to spend so much to get it down to 16 year olds. There is an achievement for that. So we'll probably do it in a different campaign. Uh, bench coach. I think we we'll go to bench coach next. Okay, Esperance, ranked fifth. It's the last match that Hoyt's going to be forced out. Lombardy gets a decent amount back. He is 26. All right, better check the contracts too. 11 days. We're all safe for now. And CD, CD, DF. Luke comes over to the other side so that he can run around McAllister. Shot through an 81 and a 79. This could be a bit tricky getting goals. Looks like everybody else is fine here, though. So, match against... Well, let's actually look at the table. Slipped up into second. Went ahead on goal difference with Latrobe. I thought they had three or four ahead of us. 
Okay, so we have the goal difference and we have the goals for. That's incredible. Defense isn't as good as many of these. So just that one win behind Mandra. Esperance have been scoring quite successfully, so we'll have to watch out for their forwards. Center forward, three header. He's going to be crossing to do headers. Um, as long as we have him here, he'll be blocking headers because there's two men in front. They can't do it. So sweepers, he usually can't block that because they just step out of the way. But since we're blocking him with Courtney, it should be all right. Stampo won't be stupid enough to try a cross, will he? There's nobody that can do it. No, he's going for a break in. All right, he's pulled in. Oh, and the shot on goal. Thrown out for a corner. All right, looking at 34 passing, so we shouldn't really need to worry. So the 40% rain penalty. Um, there, guys aren't terrific. I can't get a header. It's all about the triple rainbow and the triple cannon. If either of these guys receive it, we're broken. So Lancaster needs to push back into his position. Low control there. We'll throw Keith onto this. And then Courtney from this side. Oh, he's going for the pass through to Hale instead. Probably saw what we were going to do for his men there. Alright, nice interception. So Keith can get out if we get an extra move at some point. Uh, forward pass to Lombardy is something we need to attempt. Pulls it off. Luke can take this through ball. We still have two moves. Don't like his chance of going there and defending that. So let's just have a power shot. And then 47 control there. He's not going to run. So this is where we get Keith out. So that Lancaster can do his sweep. Pass up to left field. Kuroki. Kuroki's going the long pass. All the way over to Vladis. He is... Well, that was a huge chance. i say he's going to go for a rainbow. Would have been better than that easy uh, four header shot that he had alright pass through to Luke can be intercepted from there there's no point trying it I'm going to go with a loft pretty bad so Youngin steps out to grab it there's low control let's just throw him forward try and bring their slide tackler out there he goes. All right, cleared a path for Luke to get onto the penalty spot. Kuroki grabs it, and no, Heron's going to grab it because he has better control. Makes sense. Pence steps up. Really, no chance of this working. So let's just press, and then do we need to figure anyone out? Steen can move up. Should do a switch position here so that he can wander into the spot by himself. Especially while Berman's out the other side. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a goal. Does a short cross. Oh, he's failed it. Okay. And... We will attempt a lob to Pence. I'm not a fan of Lancaster's chances of getting past. Now Pence will come up. He must pass off to Luke. That will not work, so he tries a loft. Loft does work. Got some control here, but because of the loft, it's a minus 10. Still holds it. <clears throat> Motivation up for the slide tackler. Gets in the foul. Oh, Luke is injured for a long time. Put Dickerson in as a replacement. He's got all the young uns in there. And we're one goal down. Just as we need him to do this freaking free kick as well. Should be an automatic goal. Um, nobody's got header. Everyone, somebody's going to have to shoot. It's going to have to be Youngin. He's a slightly better passer as well if we can see something better to come up. How are we going to manage to score a goal at all here? It's going to have to be a rainbow goal. Alright, Dickerson is technically a forward. Youngin's shot has no chance. Short pass to Welch. 
Goes for the rainbow feint and then gets attacked by rickets. Just fails the rainbow. <laughs> okay. I mean, single rainbow is a 50-50. So they lose a defender, but we lose our only striker. How long is a month and 15? He's going to be out for the cup. So we need to get our buddy Hoyt back in. Alright, Pence. This was supposed to be easy, but now we don't have the guy. Just have an accuracy. It's gonna to have to be young and oh god. Pence is terrible. I need to put Steen over no, we put Lombardy over there. It means we won't be able to do crosses, but it's okay for the next one. Alright, lofted pass. There's an absolute shamozzle. Once young and gets back. We could have a terrible shot on goal. Really no point. There's no point doing anything else though. Alright, try a sit now, try a power shot so it bounces off this defender. There we go. Merman with the ball. Sweeper is way out of position. Long pass to Stamper. Stamper to the corner, he's gonna get a header from Hale. Oh, he's failed the kick again. Throw the sweeper out. I think Keith wants it, but Lancaster can pass it further. Decent control. They wouldn't be able to get it off him. Otherwise, it's just a pass. Pass to Lombardy will get taken. Pass to Pence would get taken. At least over here, we make him think about it. Sparks moves up. 58 defense. He's failed. <coughs> now Youngin's out of position. So we get a long pass to Lombardy. We have to get Dickerson up. My pass has to go to this square because of the center defender. And then he is really just going for a corner. Which he manages to get. And we probably will want to switch these around now. Alright, this time Lombardy wants to pass it. It's got nobody good to get it to. So we're thinking Youngin down this way. Welch in the middle. It's going to get pushed out. An Olympic kick here would be perfect. Or can we get... No, he's too far. Can't do a uh, side pass to them either. Alright. We could get the loft across, and 25 versus 62 is highly unlikely. They're probably not going to be in these positions either. Direct pass here is just as unlikely. So let's go for the cross. It's pushed out of the way. Welch has a chance. Yeah, about how we expected that to go. 22, 29, 21. Doesn't really matter who attempts it, it's going to be taken off him. Still a chance at an equaliser and keeping the fan bonus. Nice job, Dickerson. Here comes the aggressive. Yep, Roy takes it off him. Don't pass it down to the wing, you bastard. Alright, Clayton's angry. He's going to charge him. 74 to 9. So you can start with it. 29 control won't be enough to hold it over another turn, especially not with this happening. Stamper, fail it. Damn, close. Need Clayton to have the ball. Especially if Stamper's going to be doing that junk. Last play of the game, there is no chance of this being a goal. Lombardy needs to successfully steal. Even then, he won't be able to actually get a good one off here. Does manage the successful steal. Full time, 1-0 down. First loss in a while. To Esperance, of all people. All because of that header. And, well, the red card. Luke would have been able to score a couple of goals there. Uh, Welsh accuracy comes up. 
dirty tactics from Esperance then. Lancaster, more control. That's what we like to see. New fan bonus gone. And there is another cup game coming up. Can't remember what we scored against them last time. We were only up by one. So at least Hoyt will be back. Lucas Energy cannot participate yet, we know. Uh, we also have to worry about his contract. It's four days out. 40 grand short. We are here. So we do get to go there. So this is our home game. All right, we can wait to see if we get enough income from this one. Now, Weeper. This injury will definitely throw Hoyt into Luke's spot. Second best scorer. Let's have a look at the numbers. Tables, footballers. So the second best scorer in the cup, not in the league. All right, if he can get four or more here, might be able to get onto that table. <clears throat> yeah, best scorer of the Prestige Cup, number two. Best assistant of the Prestige Cup and the second league. And he's just best scorer of the second league, but not the cup. So we're going to be passing through to Hoyt. He has 97 against his 45, or his 36 would be better. So he'll break in this way. So pass, hit, shot. Down the other end, 48, 48. Why is this one so easy? Weeper, bottom of the league. Okay, and we've slipped down a bit. Mandra did get a win in theirs. Okay. So, Pence eyes off Hoyt. Hoyt understands what needs to be done. He goes after the skinhead. Manages it easily with a 100% roll there. 97 out of 97. Hoyt then stares down and he doesn't like anything that's happening there. So he looks at who is able to slide tackle him. It's like it's Doherty and Anthony. Both in the middle. He'll definitely get slide tackled. They're both ones. Well, they're both over there, so let's make them work for it. Wear them out a little on their way in. Oh, even better, he just wants to give away a penalty. Center worked last time. Works again. Nice consolation goal for Hoyt. Interception by Steen. Varner's not pro. Not very pleased. Kaminsky comes in with his man bun. Tries to give Steen a hug. Varna gets him distracted. Varna has 16 control. Steen has a little chance. There's more of a chance with a free press from Pence. And Steen walks in, grabs him while he's weak. Simple pass to Lombardy, who now wants to throw Hoyt over the other side. It's not going to help enough. So he goes to Youngen. It's not going to help either. So he goes back to Hoyt. These guys slide tackle. It's going to be unfortunate, especially if he gets injured. Anthony should just slide tackle him. And they bring back Kaminsky to do the double slide tackle, which just succeeds. Hoyt is not impressed, but Kaminsky is going to get robbed by Young. He needs to move back a little to be able to head it to Hoyt, although we've forgotten that Wolf is a sweeper. So can't even do a pass from here. Instead, we just want to give it to Hoyt. Undo that mistake. See if he can hold on against a slide tackle. And slide from Kaminsky, who's getting a little tired. Long pass, makes it to Nixon. Nixon looks at Varner, decides to go the other direction. Wants to try a cross. He's just trying to rainbow past Lancaster, but he's seen it so many times. And Lancaster goes with a long ball to Lombardy. Lombardy likes the chance of getting Hoyt into a scoring position. Still two turns left, so Hoyt dribbles to the penalty spot. Lines up prior, goes for the power shot. And it's in! 2-0 Port Edland. Pruitt. Pass intercepted by Steen. Nixon not impressed. 
Kaminsky looks for a hug. Barna takes it. Gets steamed from behind. Doesn't realise that Clayton is the one who's going to walk up and get it off him. And then attempts a long pass to Hoyt. Who will look for that double slide tackle from whoever it was. Instead, they're not going to try anymore. It's Kaminsky, he's too tired. They're not going to try a single. Even though they had a better chance doing a single slide tackle. Alright, penalty kick and power shot from Hoyt. Looking good. 76% of possession. Headlands way. Pruitt manages to get a ball through to Varna. Varna steps out to the wing. He's going to stand on it. Interesting choice because Courtney doesn't like being a sweeper. He likes stepping out and tackling. And then he passes through to Steen. No, we'll give it to Lombardy. Not much chance of him keeping it. He's got low ball skills. And there comes a double slide tackle from Kaminsky. Nixon runs into the spot. He's a rainbow bowler. The lob goes off the goalie. Out of bounds for a corner. Kaminsky's got high passing skill. Varna would want to shoot. Nixon would want a rainbow. Courtney wants to say there. Lancaster is not impressed. Keith into the middle. Alright, Varna's pushed out. Nixon's pushed out. Pass goes to Lancaster, which means a nice long pass. Triple chance. And he's failed it. What a pathetic through ball. Keith attempts a little revenge. Runs past. So that he can pass it up to Lombardy. Lombardy's going to try and give Hoyt a ball to the side. He'll hold on to it there. Kaminsky's way down the other end. Oh, Thurman's managed an easy grab. 70 defense against 97 control. All right, pass through to Nixon. Lombardi's just watching. Doesn't want to use his stamina. Nixon steps out. Courtney laughs again. Wins the grab, 9 to 8. Courtney to Lombardy. Lombardy's standing with it. He's feeling his high morale. Oh, he hands it off to Bateman. Now he's out of position. 2 0 up, they're not too worried. But there is a centre mid here who would like to press his body against Bateman. Lombardi is wondering if he should go and get it. He's going to give it a go. One, two, three. Yep, he has to give it a go. Hasn't managed it. Doesn't get angry enough. So Steen steps up. And just applies the press. No, he's going to give the tackle a go as well. He fouls, but he's still standing in the way. Alright, up to Nixon. Lancaster moves up to stare at him. He can't cross it to anybody because they're out of the penalty area. Goes for a direct shot and fails. Lancaster comes back. Would have gone... Couldn't see if we could actually get it to Lancaster. Uh, Lombardy didn't see where he ended. But Pence with a boost in the pass. Courtney just gets extra defence. Steen looks for his next upgrade. It's going to be... More skill. I wonder how that changes. High levels can more effectively intercept these skills. Layoff pass and long pass. Useful midfielders. Okay. Well, he's the defensive mid, so that's actually really good for him. Oh, still a lot of new fans. We're 25% over our home capacity. As we continue to the next cup and we just have to make sure we've got 879,000 Luke's contract extension is 870,000 let's get one more year with him at least for another month uh, Grayson is 19 27 year old Hoyt 23 year old Steen we need at least 38 grand for him money is a lot tighter than we'd like it to be 
Transfer window closes tomorrow. Yep, we've already done what we need. We're one nil up against Megathara last time. This time we have Hoyt. Let's get over the other side, make sure we can get a clear pass. Now the CD, 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 LD, LD, RD. Um, we have to push through somebody. I'm thinking Grayson, personally. Well, if we did Holloway, we'd only be attacked by one. If we go here, we'll be attacked by both. It's going to be a little nasty. We will, we will go Holloway. Let's try and shoot from here. Once we get through one of them, it should be an easy goal. So these guys, he has triple header on that side. We're going to need to block him. Maybe if we throw Keith out, Courtney doing a CD here. So if he moves in for the cross, he can attack him. He's definitely going to want to cross to him. Okay, I'm going to take a short break here, and when we come back, we'll continue the Prestige Cup against Mikathara. See you soon.